dear civil engineers after assigning your diaphragm if you show any warning about the diaphragm then this video is for you suppose i'm sure that if you're seeing a diaphragm warning then maybe you have selected your that a structure like this way okay so a whole structure you have selected and after that here assign then shell then from diaphragm you may assign like that apply then okay clear you may done like that so when you done it and after that if you just go here for check model select all joint story then okay and then it's giving us a warning horizontal rigid diaphragm connection found between joints at different elevations please take clear so you may found that issue so how will solve that issue okay this is very easy so to resolve that issue i'll just click here okay and i'll cancel i'll just go back and uh, it's showing us the diaphragm so what we'll have to do actually i'll just go here to resolve the diaphragm i'll go assign then i'll go shell i'll go diaphragm and from here i'll just go modify then i'll again add a, another diaphragm so i'll just give its name d1 and then raise it then okay after that i'll select then i mean i'll select that one then i'll click okay then again i'll click okay so okay so after changing that value after changing that value i will restart our model i'll save that and by clicking here this is your previous model i'll click okay and see they have no diaphragm available now now actually what is the exact exact way to define our diaphragm so what first of all you have to know what is the diaphragm diaphragm and how diaphragm work diaphragm work to transfer our lateral load as a vertical load clear so our diaphragm should be in horizontal plane for that i'll just go select then i'll go select select and from here coordinate specification and then take joint in xy plane and simply click anywhere just see only that a uh, joint available in xy plane or frame available or slab available in xy plane it will be selected and after that go assign go shell diaphragm and select in dion and apply then click ok now actually in this way you have to select i mean you have to uh, define for all structure is it clear and after that go for check model select all joint then ok now see if they have any issue or not just see the no issue okay so in this way you are able to resolve your problem so if you think that that's helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first and also join as a member in our channel by clicking join button beside subscriber option so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video